Hello, underachievers. I'm here with Evan. Uh, we do live together. It's true. We are not just just coming over for fun with friends. <laughs> that sounded really bad. <laughs> He's not just here during this climate. Yeah. To f so Evan is an Amer. What? <laughs> Evan is an American. How long have you been American? Twenty nine years. Okay, and how long have you been here? Eight years. Eight years. So Evan knows lots about England. I've been to America twice. I tried really hard to get positive and negative opinions, but they all just turned out negative for some reason. I have some honorable mentions. Um, one honorable mention for positive things is not every American is fat, question mark. <laughs> Which is, they like took a negative and went, not everyone. And no offense isn't staying permanently. Wow. <laughs> We'll start with the positives. Everyone's so much more attractive in America than in the UK. Do we agree with this? I would agree. Really? Yeah. You guys have like straighter teeth. I've only noticed that in like Essex? Is in that Essex? Essex? <laughs> <laughs> don't the don't... girls in Essex up. Ugly. No, but no, I've not really noticed the teeth thing. I don't think Americans are more attractive in the slightest. If you're only looking at people from LA where films are made. That makes sense. I've only if been you're looking to LA. in Wisconsin. No offense, cheese people. Despite how true or not unpopular opinions are about Americans, people will always be harsh on them because of their status as a global superpower. Oh, we're the best country, so everyone's meaner to us. That's not... That's actually not how I took it, but that's how it sounds, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, it does sound like people are more harsh to us because we're the best. Almost like you're just jealous of that's our rights. That's what your mom tells you, like, all these people are mean to you because they're jealous. <laughs> yeah, of all the rights that I have. I have the right to pay taxes in two countries, it's great. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Most of us are pretty normal. You always get to hear about the fringe groups and crazies and Lord knows we've got them. I don't know. I think Americans... I think everyone, well, I think Americans that consider themselves normal yes. would be surprised at what normal is. Yes. Everyone else. Even just going there, like everyone's so much more outgoing than they are here. And it's kind of scary, like it's off-putting that everyone just kind of wants to talk to you. It's like the North. Everyone talks in Manchester. I like that as an American. Do you really find everyone... Yeah. I just, we were in LA, we were by blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we were by Santa Monica, and we are at a bus stop waiting for an Uber, which didn't make sense. And then some guy just came up to, to us, and he's like, where are you guys from? We're like, oh, we're from London. He's like, oh, right, I met the queen once. You met the queen? She's like, she's kind of short. She's actually about your size. And then he told, like, Corey that Black Jesus loves him. And Was he he wasn't, he wasn't homeless. <laughs> he wasn't homeless. I was just like, um. But yeah, I guess Americans just really like starting conversations. I'm the type of person that used to do that until I moved to London. I would talk to anyone in an elevator. No! 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 You make friends in an elevator. No, you don't. We don't talk to people, no. I'm thinking of like, you and I when we go to parties. We just watch as people interact and we join to be like, hey, and then everyone went somewhere else and went, look, good party. It's like three members of our house we went together yeah. and we didn't separate. These have been nice. They haven't been so bad. Oh, these are the positive ones. Okay. And one of the positive ones was that not everyone is fat. Uh, unpopular opinion, better food than England in America. It's true. It'll kill you, but it's much better. I just feel like everything's covered in like salt and sugar and grease. You just cut the portion sizes down, I think. No, no. no I went to a breakfast think. place when I was in uh, Orlando in February and the one thing I ordered on the menu was like this <sighs> cheese and chicken and gravy burger, breakfast burger. As in like it was chicken and biscuits covered in gravy and eggs. And I swear it was a 1900 calorie meal. For, for breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> yeah, and I <laughs> ate it because it looked so good on the menu. Just ate it. And then I felt like <laughs> All day. You do. I get excited about that because it's American food, but American food is just that. I went to America for a week and I gained three kilograms. And like, the first few days I was like, this feels great. Just imagine living there every day though. I'm so lactose intolerant and everything I have was covered in cheese. It's covered in cheese because of the dairy subsidies. The reason we have so much cheese and everything is because the government subsidized like dairy production. So they were like, what do we do with all this extra milk stuff? Make cheese. And so we just threw cheese on all food. That makes so much sense. Here's right. Here's here's one that I agree with. I haven't said it, but I agree. The way they treat high school sports is cool, and it encourages kids to do their best. Yeah, we're very much into do your best and try your sports. I mean, we got football, baseball, lacrosse. There's so many different sports that you do in school. I just feel like we have a lot of sports. except soccer. Yeah, you don't do football. Foot fairies. Foot. That's what we call people to pay that. Well, you a foot fairy? We play man sports like football. <laughs> American football. Everything in America, like even the sport is so big. Yes. You put college sport on TV. Yes, because they're like good. And then you're watching the college teams to be like, I wonder which one of these guys is going to be scouted to then be taken to the big leagues, the NFL. High school football is such an attendance. My mom's a huge fan of her high school's sports team. Goes to every football match, cheers in the crowd. Everyone does. That's so cute. And it feels nice, I guess, to be on the team, to feel yeah. actually supported by your community. That feels sick. America actually has really beautiful nature. Yes. Yes. Compared to the UK specifically. Yeah. You guys have like one 
hill. There's so many national parks in the U.S. of yeah. like giant cliffs and mountains and lakes and massive things that because of like Roosevelt, he made national parks of things so that they wouldn't get developed. Even at like tiny. people's front gardens in L.A. Yeah. I, I was walking just around people's streets and just staring at their front gardens and taking pictures of the cactus because it was so pretty. People really just care about everything around them and like how they're presented. I guess. Yeah. Houses have to be manicured if you're in the homeowners association and for Christmas you have to have the lights up. And if you're you in have a, to. If you're in a development in which everyone else is doing it, then you'll probably get a, a letter. It makes everything look great. It does, but I'm just thinking it of it in comparison to our front garden. <laughs> we, we had a we letter. Get we, got, we, Different. We, we had a letter from our next door neighbor. They it wrote it on a, they, <laughs> wrote, they wrote it on a big piece of cardboard the day we take out recycling and they were just like, please don't put food in the recycling. Please don't feed rats and foxes. We didn't put food in the recycling, but like foxes come and eat our food bin out the front door and it just leaves rubbish everywhere. We're the worst neighbors on the block, basically. It's not our fault, it's the foxes. Anyway, what's the next one, Boris? The next one, it's Boris. <laughs> the next one is their education system. Sounds kind of dope in some ways. I agree with that. I like the fact that it doesn't just rely on an exam at the end of the year. Like you got a GPA. Yeah, I do think that's, you guys are just, I feel like a walking anxiety bomb waiting yes. to happen because you're like, hope I don't mess up the last exam and ruin my whole life. Literally. We're like, uh, like uh, you can coast through your last year, really, if you've done super well in beginnings. No. The no. GPA carries over. That makes so much sense, but I hate it because I didn't have that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's dope. I think I'd it's, say it's dope. dope. The last one was, I wish we could get guns here like they do. How is that a positive? <laughs> Next one is uh, negatives. Are you ready for these? Americans are not good at geography. Yes. That, I mean, there's nothing false about Yeah, it. I just feel like you only learn about, like, American... We don't teach it. That's it. It's... No. You don't have it's, geography lessons. No. And that's not just my experience as well. That's just not taught in schools. I was reading about this recently. Geography isn't a mandatory part of the curriculum. Because if you think about it, America's a big enough country. Yeah, you don't need to go anywhere. All of, all of my geography I learned in, like, fourth grade and fifth grade are... Fourth grade, I can tell you every single U.S. state where it is and the state capital. For fifth grade was memorize all of the counties of my state of New Jersey. That makes so much sense. Why would, I feel no. like Americans feel like the world revolves around them, but they're taught that. Yeah. Oh no. Also, whenever we're like shown pictures of other people in other countries, it's more like really dated things. Like, look at the cool little Germans. They like to have the pretzels and they the dress pretzels? in the little skirts. And it's like, look at the French. They eat the baguette. Like, it's <laughs> literally like that as opposed to, they're just people like you. They just live in a different country with different culture. Is that why they're so weird about British people? Look at them and the little teeth. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. It's, it's like, I don't know why, but I just remember learning that from elementary school of like, you see the picture of like all the people holding hands around the world. Yeah. And they're always like stereotypes as opposed to, whereas Americans just like normal. Everyone yes. else though, they're like, it's cute that they have this culture. Yeah. The next one is literally everything just seems kind of fake. There is a lack of real culture. A lot of people are just like white people don't have culture. And I feel like that's like a dig at Americans because Europeans definitely have culture. There's a lot of different European countries as yeah. well. Yeah. I mean, we invented chicken nuggets. We'll just throw that out there. <laughs> chicken nugget culture. Dips in mayonnaise. <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs> different pockets of the states have different culture. Like southern food culture is such a huge thing. Yeah, sweet tea. Yes, delicious. The entire Pacific Northwest is very different culture than like New England, than like North Carolina, Florida man, that's his own thing. Cowboys? Cowboy Texas, Texas, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I don't know that one. Yeah, we've talked about this. All the foods taste like pure sugar and or salt. It's rank. It's not rank, but it's unhealthy. Did yeah. you not like taste the differences in the bread? Oh, I love the bread. You love the bread? I love the bread. I miss that. Bread here just tastes like nothingness. Yeah, I guess. Like, it's helping the sandwich by giving it something to hold. Yeah. Whereas America, you're like, it's part of the tasty Wonder Bread. Uh, just like the first time I went to America and had a slice of bread. It was, like, sugary. Cheesecake Factory bread? Tastes like sugar. Oh, it does, yeah. But it's good. It's, that one's good. I like that one. But, <laughs> but it's like, so sweet. But, like, normal, like, cut bread in, yeah. like, a loaf is just, like, sugary. I'm not a fan. Mom. Oh, he just bit me. Like, no, he's just, he doesn't know you. That's how they get to know you. Big one. Swearing allegiance to the flag every day is the most brainwashed cult behavior I've ever seen, and it shouldn't be accepted as the normal thing to do. Do you guys not do any type of pledge in the slightest? Well, I was to thinking God. about it. To God. You That's, do hymns. Yeah. Because I remember from the age of seven, I had to learn the Lord's Prayer off by heart and do it every single day in the morning, which yet, is like kind of similar. It's the same thing. I think they're both wrong. Well, yours is to an actual like religion yeah. that's been like over thousands of years old, whereas ours is to a country. <laughs> so it's like putting that weight of religion in the religion of patriotism, which is a bit scarier. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Especially when you're pledging to a flag that represents things that you don't really know much about yet as a kid. Yeah. It makes sense in my opinion to pledge as an adult yeah. if you're very much like patriotic, 
But to brainwash that into kids, I don't think I like. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, <laughs> under God, <laughs> indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> you know I haven't said it in ten years. I did! You made a video about American humor versus British humor, didn't you? I did. Hashtag ads. Yeah, hashtag ads. So this one is, Americans have a very childlike sense of humor. Very loud and physical. Not very good with sarcasm and satire. No. I think that's just a stereotype. Really? I, I would say that... S sarcasm really needs to be laid out a slight amount more, but personally, I was always very sarcastic. Yeah. But then I was told I didn't really get along with a lot of people because of that. Oh. So I never had... Like, there are people that do like sarcasm, but it's not the norm, I guess. Because I was going to say, when I... I used to make videos that were really sarcastic. Mm -hmm. And it was all a joke, but like people were really offended. And I was like, how do you not understand sarcasm? It just didn't, it just didn't work. British humor is so sarcastic. Yeah, it's, I mean, every show that you guys have is mostly based on that yeah. funny sarcasm. Whereas uh, ours are really, really funny. And some people will be like, it's so childlike in it. It's more just direct, like, here's the joke, here's the yeah. joke, here, like The Office and Brooklyn Nine-Nine and People like these shows. No, I get you. Like, to be fair, I prefer the US Shameless to the UK Shameless. Unpopular opinion, maple syrup on pancakes is grim. Who the... Why would you say that? Why would you lie? That's not... That is a very <laughs> unpopular opinion. It is, and I agree. Because it's not true. What the hell do you mean? You guys put, like, lemon on it. Yes. That's messed up. Lemon and sugar <laughs> is so good. So good. I put yogurt I put in lemon pancakes. and sugar on my pancake instead of in my <laughs> water to make lemonade. <laughs> yeah, but your pancakes are thin. Yeah. So it makes sense that you cover them with lemons. Yeah. We like syrup, but also we don't even use maple syrup, so that's a more of a Canadian thing. Oh. We just use pancake syrup, which is corn syrup. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, most pancake syrup, like Aunt Jemima and Log Cabin, it's all corn syrup because that's subsidized by the U.S. government. Corn on pancake. Corn syrup! Do you like a corn pancake? <laughs> it's so hot in this room. It's a bit warm. I just have a big window that just takes up half the room. And it's hot, which is why I look sweaty as hell. And we have two in, uh, very, very bright, warm lights on us. Three. <laughs> Three? Oh! So, this is one that I didn't expect. As someone who works in tourism, Americans are just a little bit ruder than everyone else. Even the nice ones. Like, they just seem to have a lower standard of friendliness. I feel like there's just an ever so slight level of entitlement because we're the greatest country in the world. Why can't you just speak English? I don't care I'm in, like, Switzerland for learning. <laughs> That's sadly the way it is. But really? I, English people are stereotypically just also very... Speak English, I'm drunk, trying to get a drink in Ibiza. Well, that's what I was thinking, because I thought, like, British people are really rude. And, like, other cultures find us, like, very rude. So I thought, I thought Americans are really polite. Like, really polite. When traveling, I feel like it's, America's full of Karens when we travel. Just a lot of Karens. Yeah. Oh, I had to explain to my mum what a Karen was. Is your mum's name Karen? Yeah. Oh, Still that's Karen. so sad. I know. Mom, Thanks. this is why you are the way you are. <laughs> she cuts her hair short, gets the one streak, buys a minivan. Culture. <laughs> that's American Karen culture. culture. <laughs> Karens are American <laughs> culture. So, last one. White Americans are more privileged and discriminative than white British people. And I don't know if I agree with this or not. You guys are very classist. Yeah, we're very classist. Like, when I think of, like, the worst white people, I think of Americans and British people. Uh, I would I would have to slightly agree with them, though, only because I feel like that is part of American culture and our American dream, is even if you are the least privileged person, yeah. you will always look down on people and be like, at least I'm not as bad as that guy. Really? And, it, yeah, that's, that's the culture. So even the poorest and the poorest of, like, farmers in the U.S. will, like, Talk about the immigrants and be like, they're the bad people. Uh, yeah. Even though the rich are taking all their money, they'll yeah. be like, it's the people below me. I feel like it's a similar thing with like poor Tories. Like there's like, there's Tories. so many, the Tories. <laughs> there's, there's so many poor conservative people here and they will vote and stick by the conservative party just because they think that they will be up there at some point, even though there's yeah. no way for them to get up there. The US does that. Yeah. Uh, it's big on that Republican energy, but at least you... I mean, you guys also have an issue with, like, Murdoch. Like, we have Fox News, you have Murdoch. Yeah. <laughs> what I've discovered from this video is that Britain and America suck. That's the end of the video. If you want to comment any unpopular opinions you have about America, let me know. Also, we did a video on Evan's channel. What was it about? <laughs> I, just, I just had a mind blank. <laughs> We filmed a video about leavers versus graduation. Yeah. What's the difference? How's the US do graduation versus whatever the heck leavers is in the UK? It was actually really interesting. Yeah, we had fun story. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day, don't. See you later, losers. What I do is I punch, I punch, I punch, and then they pretend to be punched. How <laughs> <laughs>